Warriors, so many things to talk about. This is the end of the week, and I just want to touch upon a couple of things you need to know about. Uh, first of all, we are facing complete online devastation with the advent of AI. Now, remember, you're just hearing about AI, artificial intelligence. They're kind of leaking it out in the media. Uh, it started with the chat GPT. Remember, what do we always say at the Warriors? If you're hearing about it, it's really been around for five years. They just haven't launched it yet. You know, big tech, we didn't even handle policy-wise or um, law enforcement-wise or even culture-wise, Facebook, Twitter, you know all the problems. I don't have to sit here and tell you. We've educated you at the Warriors about online predation. It's happening on every single platform you're on, your children are on. And now we're entering into AI, which some experts will say will obliterate anything we know now, as far as this social media that uh, has been around the last couple of decades, and we'll get acclimated, that kind of, you know, got us ready for what's going to be launched on us. And my biggest fear, and I'm not a fearful person, is if we can't control what's going on right now with the predation, and we have all the stats and studies that are telling us how dangerous all of, you know, the algorithms are, the online predation, not enough resources for law enforcement to keep up with it. The escalation of, you know, this normalization of the sexualization of our children, I could go on and on and on, but we don't have time for that, right? What's going to go on with AI? And my biggest fear is that because it is so difficult, when well, we have tech experts and we have policy experts, very smart people who say, we don't know. We don't know how to control this. This is out of control. I mean, already we have we have some of this a you know chat gpt writing going ahead they claim you know writing in different languages and nobody prompted it and all kinds of situations happening so we've got that going on and my biggest fear i know i keep saying that is that as usual parents caregivers are going to be so frustrated not knowing what to do they will throw their hands up in the air because how can they possibly grasp the concept of AI or any of us when we can't grasp or even keep up with what I like to say is being hit over the head every day with a hammer. You can see how overwhelming and devastating it has become. Today, we're do uh, all, all uh, dealing with the border issues, the crushing surge. I just finished my show, State of the Nation, uh, which is daily on TNT Network, and it's politicians, it's residents, it's state of the nation, all kinds of people. And we had reports from San Diego, a place, uh, our friend Dan Plant, who works for KUSI, and that is a place we usually hear about Texas and Arizona, uh, not too much about San Diego. It is being crushed right now. He was explaining there's a wall on the Mexican side, there's a division in the middle where the Border Patrol rides up and down in trucks, and then there's a wall on the San Diego side. Now, San Diego is kind of beefed up because of a uh, military base, uh, Coronado. Yet, yet, they have been suffering, suffering with, just like all the other borders, the fentanyl in the last few years, um, the, the I'm going to say illegal aliens, because we want people to come here legally, at least I do. And um, he said they are piled up on the Mexican side. And just as I thought, or I and I heard that the Biden administration is, I don't want to get too political because this truly is a humanitarian crisis, allowing groups of 150 or 200 at a time to come in. So there's not this tremendous surge, visuals, optics, right, of people. But this is just the beginning. And every expert, every person in Border Patrol, every resident along the border who knows about this, works with this. Um, some of the NGOs, organizations will say this is just the beginning. So we have a lot of work to do. And I'm so afraid in the meantime, we won't keep our eye on the ball about everything going on with our kids. Kids are our number one priority, our precious kids. And we must not take our eyes off the ball. They are suffering from youth mental health. We've got to keep an eye on the education system these days. You got to talk, talk, talk to your kids. You got to just be open and honest. Can you imagine if we as adults are upset about all these issues, how the kids feel? Because even if you don't think they're watching, what do I always tell you? They absolutely are. And then we're heading into this upcoming election. And that's going to be chaotic. It's the weaponization of everything. It's a new world. It's a new society. So let's talk about some good. Let's talk about 
The SHIELD Act, the SHIELD Act, bipartisan act in Washington, was just approved to be pushed through. And this will allow a victim online of any of the sexual exploitation to take action against the person doing it. Sounds simple, but it's a lot more difficult with a lot of these servers in foreign countries uh, and a lot of uh, people involved in this and a lot of these crimes online being committed in real time. How do you track something that's being committed in real time, right? It doesn't matter. One good policy we believe will snowball into the next policy. So I want everybody to do a little homework. I'll be loading up lindswarriors.org this weekend because we've been a busy warrior. We're always busy, but this week, really busy. A lot of events at night, um, every day, three different radio programs, loading up all of these take actions and things like the SHIELD Act and the updates on Earn It, which, which passed unanimously out of markup out of judiciary last week and goes to a final vote, again, bipartisan. Everything we talk about on the Warriors is bipartisan, by the way. Belongs to no political party. It's about the children. It's about protecting them. So we have that going on. We also have lingering and heading heading towards, you know, the final steps. Stop CSAM. That is Child Sexual Abuse Material Act. We do believe if you sign on, just takes your name, sometimes your zip code, so they know where you, you know, what area you're in. Numbers count. Everybody's overwhelmed. I could go on and on and on, but I won't. The number one thing we want to do at the Warriors, we are not going to stop human trafficking and sexual exploitation. When I say human trafficking, I want to remind you that it's also forced labor. And with all of the illegals coming over the border, we're going to have a tremendous increase. We already see this in labor around our country. We're already seeing across the country children, children, minors under 18, working in factories. It's only going to get worse. I'm telling you this because all the experts tell me this. And I want to pass it on to you. And this kind of information should make you more empowered to help in your own home, in your own community, beef up everything around you. So I want you, I'm going to load it up this weekend. Uh, it's Friday as I'm recording this, uh, to look at these different acts, to sign on, because we still, it doesn't mean, you know, we've got to get that final step. We've got to get this approval. And uh, it's got to pass. And numbers count. I also want everybody to be very aware of um, education because we're not stopping the trafficking. What are we going to do? So when people throw up their hands to me and say, it doesn't matter, it does matter because we have to come at this. And I gave a speech last night at Lifeway Network. I'll get, in, I'll get in, into that in a second. But education, we will intervene and prevent new victims, perhaps your own child, perhaps your own grandchild, member of your family. If we come at this horrible, large, overwhelming exploitation crisis, which it is an American crisis, global crisis, but we're focused at the warriors on America. If we help one person a day, then we have done our jobs. That's it. That's it. One person a day. If you go in with that mindset, you'll be successful because that will then snowball. I'm a great believer in that. Energies will come to you. Other people who want to volunteer and help, if you educate them, they'll tell their family members, friends, it will snowball. Education, intervention, prevention, okay? Step two, we've got so many people, we don't have safe housing. This brings me to Lifeway Network, lifewaynetwork.org. Here in New York with two safe houses, taking no government monies, all private donations. They create a family atmosphere. They create, we sit down and have dinner together at the dining table every night. They create, we're going to help you get your medical help, your education, line you up with a job. If any of you are listening to this and you have companies, you work at companies and want to start a corporate matching program, please reach out to me. I want to do more of this or earn enough hours in the day. Um, write to me, lynn at lynnswarriors.org. Call me. My phone number is on the website. Let's get this going. That may not cost you any money. Somebody came up to me last night and he said, my company gives me $3,000 a year to designate for charities and I'm giving it over to Lifeway. I said, really? That's amazing. I don't care if it's $1. The number one thing for victims of human trafficking, exploitation, just think about this, is you have a bed you have a roof over your head and a safe one. I was even thinking today, because I spoke to survivors last night, you put your hand on their shoulder 
it means the world to them. They have a bed, they're safe. They have a bathroom, things we take for granted. They can take a bath or a shower, use a toilet, and they're safe. And they sit with other women, men. They eat a meal together. They prepare the meals together. That is a sense of family, a sense of community. Remember, you don't have to actually be a family to be a family. So I want all of you, it's 2023. We don't know. I'm in the news every single day with my show, State of the Nation. You don't know what's happening. And that's what comes back to me every day from the so-called experts. We're heading into, and we're in very rocky times, a change in America, upcoming election 2024. Don't be overwhelmed. Don't throw your hands in the air. Don't tune out. Remember, community creates change. Hug your children. Kiss your children. Talk to them about what they're doing online. Find out, ask questions, and don't be afraid. And always follow lenswarriors.org. Make sure you stay up to date. Again, I'll be loading a lot of information on this weekend for you. And be in charge. You take charge. And parental autonomy. Kids belong to you, but you got to talk to them open and honestly. And with that, happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers and grandmothers out there. Anybody who's a mother, enjoy your day. Have a terrific weekend. And remember, each and every day, be a warrior.